In this video, I wanna show you a simple trick that costs you absolutely nothing, but will greatly improve your productivity on MA2 on PC. Now, this trick might seem pretty obvious and it's probably also slightly dumb that I would even do a video about it, but I think it's important to highlight. So, in today's video, I wanna talk about the shortcut functionality. The shortcut functionality up here, you can activate it with the insert button on your keyboard. Um, if you're using a Apple keyboard because you like the flatness of it, then you'll have a hard time finding it. So I always activate this um, with the soft keys right here. And what you will immediately notice is that you can see all of these shortcuts um, at a glance right away. And that's really, really cool. Now, if you're wondering what this button up here is, if you, for example, try to enter something into the command line right now, like, you know, fixtures, and I just tried to write fixtures, and you can see that uh, it was just a wild mess. So whenever you're trying to enter a command, that's where you activate this command switch up here, and then kind of toggles um, the shortcut menu off, or it kind of overrides the shortcut switch. Uh, you could also just directly deactivate the shortcut. So it's, it's kind of a weird combo, but that's what the command button up here is for. So um, these keyboard shortcuts are actually really great. And as I said, you can see all of these uh, shortcuts right here. Now what's really cool is if you, for example, let me just pull up the groups. If you, for example, have a set of fixtures, um, then all of a sudden working with them becomes so much easier. So to kind of bring these up to full, for example, I can just go at at, and that's as simple as pressing A twice. So now when you want to clear it again, you just press uh, the delete button three times. And I mean, obviously that was now in super slow motion. In general, um, after you kind of get used to it a bit, you just click on something, press add, add twice, and it's incredibly fast. Now, whenever you get to a point where you would have to use these soft keys, all you have to do is kind of stop and think for a while. So let's say I have the Sharpies. I already learned the add, add uh, shortcut, which is just pressing A twice. Now I wanna store this. How do I do it? Well, just move over here and you can see, oh, it's just an S. So now just press S, click on that slot. Um, you can press delete three times again. And now what's really cool is that you can see all of these X buttons down here are put on your F keys. So F1 through F10. So now I can just hit F1 to kind of trigger it. And just like that, you already have direct access to something where previously you maybe would have to use your mouse for it. And let's be honest, this button down here is not exactly easy to click. So it's way easier to just hit your F1. What's really cool is um, if we move the sequence down to the second row of X buttons, and again, I need the move key. How do I do that? Well, just move over here to move. Where is it? It's always a little hard to find. And you can see it's Control M. So now I'm pressing Control M. I can click on the executor that I want to move and then click on the second spot. And that's how you kind of slowly get into all these shortcuts. Um, now that we have the second row, I can just press control, like we see it here, control and then F1. And so maybe, maybe you could already tell uh, these shortcuts are really, really intuitive. So MA did a really good job of finding good shortcuts and usually the ones that you use quite a bit um, are the ones that are easy to access. So next example is, for example, when I click on the Sharpies and I just want to activate highlight, well, move over, you kind of get the drill, right? Uh, just press H and all of a sudden you have highlight. Um, want to step through your you know, selection order with previous and next, no problem, arrow left, arrow right. So now I can just use MA tricks. And it's cool because I can press both buttons and that will actually um, select all of the fixtures. So that's a really, really easy way to 
work with Granime 2 on PC. And I'm a little shocked because I was always so fixated on getting MIDI controllers or, you know, staring at the price for a command wing, which is incredibly expensive. But if you kind of start to look outside of MA2, what you will often find is that in Photoshop, for example, or Sketch or Illustrator, all of these graphics programs, um, you first of all kind of learn to do it with a mouse, but you very, very quickly start picking up keyboard shortcuts because it makes your life so much easier. Um, so let's take a look at some macros, for example. It's one thing that's also really cool, uh, which you might not be doing if you don't have the easy access. Uh, so let's say we have a bunch of macros right here, and this is actually from my previous video on, uh, what was it, single cues. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's amazing how much you can do with a single cue, and these macros are there to help you. So let's say I want to move all these macros just over. Um, we already saw the shortcut, which is Control M, so we could just be going like that. And I mean, that will be fine, but... Here comes the cool part. Let's do this right. We have a special word or a special dedicated soft key here for macros. So I can just press M, click on the first one. Oh, apparently not. Oh, that's just, that's just fucked up. <laughs> All right, let's, let's figure this out. I can do this. Move through at. I don't know why it worked now. All right, so as you can see, it's really easy to pick up the commands because they're very intuitive. We already saw how you can set fixture values, uh, set the dimmer to full. You, we saw how you can move around stuff, how you can store things. Um, also, one thing that I really like is if you take a look at the sign button, for example, up here. Where is it? See, that's the thing. I'm going to try and find the sign button, but I can already tell you that the command for it is Alt A. So here it is. Oh, it's Control A. Um, but what's interesting is that it took me way longer right now to actually find the soft key than um, it was to kind of pull up the shortcut from my memory. So these things really, you know, um, it's, it's easy to learn. All right, and also, oh, assign, okay. So pressing assign twice gives you a label. And that's the cool thing. You kind of start to pick up all of these different functionalities that you can just use with your left hand while your right hand is using the mouse. And you can even take this further if you want, if you go to setup and then uh, let's see, edit keyboard shortcuts. Then you have the complete list down here and it's really nice because you can just go add, um, you know, what, what's a command that you always wanted to pick um, or to have available. Let's say the masters, I wanna have the masters available. Now, obviously this is gonna be weird. Oh. Okay, so here's the second thing. You can actually see which uh, keys are still available. And in this case, it's the tap button. So I'm just going to assign this. Um, by the way, you can also export this and import it later. Uh, so you can have your own custom keyboard mapping if you like. Um, but again, the, the standard keyboard mapping is super, super intuitive. Now, when I press the add button, I actually have the master. So now if I go and Press Control S because that's select. You see, it would have taken me way longer to even find the damn thing uh, than it is for me to remember the shortcut. Now I have this selected, I can pull up the masters and I should be able to turn this on, exactly. So that's my point here and that's why I dedicated a whole video to this. These keyboard shortcuts are real lifesaver. They don't cost anything. You don't have to get any extra hardware. All you have to have is a keyboard. And since you're using a computer, you have to have a keyboard. And since the MA2 software is free as well, this is a perfect way to get really, really productive um, with this on-screen setup. I also get frustrated sometimes that I just can't touch anything or directly control stuff. But honestly, with these keyboard shortcuts, 
it gets super, super easy and super accessible. So you will find yourself really missing your keyboard shortcuts when you don't use them and kind of start um, moving around with your mouse again. So you guys check it out. Uh, it takes a bit of learning in the beginning, obviously, because you have to remember all these new shortcuts, but it really, really pays off. And it's so much more fun to work with your on PC setup all of a sudden. So with that being said, Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe. And uh, if you should have any questions about this video, leave them in the comments. But I think this is such an easy topic. Nah, leave questions and feedback in the comments or hit me up on Twitter. My name is Jonas. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Yo, check out what I built. Woo. See these? Whee! Whee! <laughs> That's the kind of stuff I do after a long day at work. See ya!